first thing I want to do today is look on the board. I have some um, addition packs with more than one add-in. I want to talk about what strategies or properties you should have used to figure these out. Four plus four plus six. What's the first thing you should have thought of that you should do? Parentheses. Okay, well, we're not going to put parentheses, but we're going to do it in our mind. What's the first strategy or property that you could have used? Jonathan? And four to six and make a ten. And yeah, so you could do four and six and make a ten and then add the other number. But what's another thing you could have done? Yeah, you could have done the double. Four plus four is eight. That's easy. So you could have noticed that four plus six made ten and then add the other four. Or you could say four plus four is eight because that's a double and then add the six. Either way, what are you going to get for your answer? Fourteen. Fourteen. Very good. All right, let's go on to the next one. What strategy or property are we going to use for that one? Two plus seven plus one. What did we learn? Count on by ones. Count on by ones and count on by Two. twos. Both. Count on by ones. So we could go seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Yeah. Count on by ones, count on by twos. All right, what about the next one? What? strategy or property is that? This one's a little trickier. You gotta think it through. You got three plus four plus two. Maya? You had when you board with seven and the two. Okay, but down. what the two could be shown on by two, but what would be the three and the four? You said the three and the four. But what is that one? Don't make seven. I know, but what it what you do the near double. Yeah, that's a near double. double. Mm -hmm. Three plus four is a near double. You know, three plus three is six, so three plus four is going to be seven. And she just told us three plus four is seven. But that would be your near double. Three plus three is six plus four would make seven. And then count on by two is going to make nine. nine. All right, what about this last one? Six plus four plus two. Plus one. Oh, yes, plus one. Six plus four plus two plus one. What's the first thing? Owen? Because it equals ten. ten. Then you're going to everybody count them by two, count them by one. Oh, you could just count on three more. So ten plus three is thirteen. Thirteen. Very good. Sad thing is, I wrote that one wrong. I was supposed to have written it six plus two plus four plus one, so that you still would have to remember to add the six and the four first to make ten. Then go back and get the two and the one. But I can't erase. When it's on this. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about place value. All right, so I'm going to show you my chart. Eyes on the chart, please. All right, so this O stands for ones. The T is tens. The H is hundreds. And this O is the one thousands. All right, so let's do it again. Ones, tens, hundreds. One thousands. And I've actually written on the board the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And we're going to write out the number 5,823. So I'm going to put a 5 here, an 8 here, a 2 here, and a 3 here. And then I'm going to switch markers because that one's running out of ink. Alright, so looking at the board. What is the value of a five? I did forget to five do one little thing. Thousand. I should have put a comma. Five comma. Five thousand. Yeah, so underneath that five, I'm going to write five thousand. All right? And then this is going to make into expanded form, which we talked about yesterday. What, so what about the eight? What is the eight worth, Adam? Eight hundred. Yes, the eight is worth eight hundred. All right? What is a two, Tess? Twenty. Twenty. Two tens is 20. And the three, Eric? Three. Just three, because that's just counting by one. So that is writing that as expanded form. Correct? Yes. You forgot to put the plus between those 20 and Yes, three. I did. Thank you. You would need a plus between each one of those. That is called expanded form. Now, when you write this number, just 5,823, what is that called? What's it called though? 
as a name. Just like this is called expanded form. What is it called when it's written normal? I told you yesterday. Adam? Standard form. Yes, it's called standard form. That's just normal numbers. Standard form, expanded form. I like the one on the paper. Pardon me? I like well, the one. But at least you knew it was on the paper. I'm okay with that. All right, the next chart I want to look at is what we looked at yesterday. Eyes up here. So yesterday we talked about 10 ones equals one ten. And then we said that 10 tens equals one hundred. Today we're gonna go on from there. We're not gonna do the bottom one. We're just gonna do the top one. And we're gonna learn that 10 hundreds equals one thousand. Let's prove it. Let's count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundred, which is the same thing as 1,000. Because how do you make a number 100? What, how many zeros get put? Three. Two. 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 So if I were to write 500, like oh, 800, right here, we put eight and two zeros. So if I were to write 10 hundred, I could put 10, and then I put two more zeros, which is the same thing as a thousand. Don't look at the comma. I did. I, I can't see through this. Okay, I know. But we have to have it up. I know you guys can't see well, but I did put the comma. Thank you for reminding me though. All right, now let's start our paper. So look at your paper. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at that. Now remember, these yellow cubes are gonna be how much? Thousands. Thousands. So the first number you need to write is 4,000. Now, little hint here. When you say that word thousand, what should you remember to put? Comma. Comma. So when you say thousand, when you say 4,000, your brain should automatically think four comma. So go ahead and put four comma. Now look how many hundreds you have. Three. Three. So put a three. Next. Four. Then how many tens? Four. four. So put a four. And then how many six. ones? Six. six. That is just six. Make sure you count them carefully. You don't want to get it wrong because you counted poorly. But I will give you a hint. Usually they do a group of five and then they'll put any extras in the next row. So the first row should be five and if there's another row. If there's less than five, of course, that would just be one row. But if there's two rows, that first row is probably five ones. All right, let's go to the next section. <clears throat> let's review again what this chart said. Eyes up here. This number on this side all the way to the right is the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we're going to look at these numbers, and you're going to look at the one that's underlined, and you're going to tell me the value of that number. So the first number, let's read the whole number. 1,786. Eight. eight is underlined. So what's the value of the eight? Just call it out. Eighty. 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 Now we're going across. The value of the eight was eighty. Get your hand off your head, please, and pay attention. All right, going across. Let's read the number. 5,732. What's the value of that 5? 5,000. Five so write 5,000. Do not forget the comma. It's 5, comma, and then you need three zeros because these are the thousands. All right, let's read the next number. 4,043. All right, they want the value of the second 4. 40. 40. Very good. And I want all of you answering. Not just one person. Wake up out there. All right, let's read number five. Number five says 2,610. What's the value of the zero? Zero. zero. No matter where that zero was, the value of the zero would just be zero. You would not have to put 0,000, although you wouldn't normally have that unless you had 10,000. All right, next, number six, 6,421. What's the value of the four? 400. 400. That four is in the hundred column, so put 400. All right, next, number seven, 7,600. 
Oh, 900, I'm sorry, 35. So I have seven? Seven thousand. That seven is in the thousands column, so seven thousand. All right, moving on to number eight. Yes, don't forget your comma, thank you. Seven comma zero zero zero. All right, number eight, four thousand, everybody, four thousand seven hundred sixteen. Six is underlined. What's the value of the six? Oh, I'm sorry. I really need to get new glasses. I really do. Besides that, my paper is so tiny that it's hard to see. So 4,216, what's the value of the six? Six. Six. It is just six. It's in the ones column, so just put a six. And then the number nine is 3,692. Again, the value of the six. This time that six is worth 600. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your expanded form and you are going to write the standard form. All right, so the number is 7,893. So you need to put it back together again. So what's the first thing you're going to write? Seven, comma, then you're going to write eight, then nine, then three. Very good. All right. Then the next thing is 9,000 plus 100 plus 20 plus five. So what are you going to write? Nine, comma, one, two, five. Excellent. All right. That next form they give you, they're telling you to write in standard form, but the next form they give you is not expanded form, it's called word form, because they wrote it as words. So it's word form. Let's read what it says. 6,341. So what's the first thing you should put? Six, comma. Six, comma, because six, and then thousand, she reminds you for the comma. Three, for the 300. Four, and a one. All right, now for the next thing, they gave it to you in standard form, and we're going to turn around and turn it into expanded form like we did on the board here. So the number is 1,979. So for the one, what are you going to write? 1,000. 1, 1, 000, 1, 000, 1, 000, 000. Or the nine, what are you going to write? 900. 900. 900. That nine is in the hundred column. For the seven, what are you going to write? 70. 70. And for that last ones column, nine. nine. All right, now the next number is 6,587. So what are you going to write for the six? Six thousand. Six thousand. Six, comma, mm -hmm. zero, zero, zero. Three zeros for thousands. What about the five? Five hundred. Five hundred. What about the eight? Eighty. Eight. And what about the seven? Seven. seven. All right, now, they're not going to make you do this too often, but for today, they want you to write that next one as word form. All right, so I'm going to stop the video here, and you'll do the back of your paper. We'll just do it quickly on the back, but you're going to write this as word form. So write this as word.